everybody, it's Lisa Joy Young and I'm back with another video for you. Um, today I'm going to be teaching you how to do this really pretty flower design. I did this at my last event and it's great for three different reasons. Number one, it's fast, so that's great. Number two, it's pretty simple. Number three, there's no outlining, so um, it's great for beginners. It's easy to make it look good. So I hope that you guys like it and really quick, I have somebody I want you to meet. I want you guys to meet my new puppy. Ta-da! Oh my gosh. She's so cute. She's a whippet. And um, she's going to be fast when she's older. Ooh, I can't wait to watch her run. I think we might take her to races and stuff. But we named her Freckles because we had originally named her Summer because we're getting her, you know, during like warm summer time even though it's not officially summer yet. But we'd only seen her picture. We hadn't actually seen her. And when we went to go pick her up, she had like all these freckles and they weren't in her picture. So sometime in between when she was, you know, eight weeks old and 10 weeks old, which is when we got her, she developed a whole lot of freckles. So I'm learning to embrace them. <laughs> we named her Rickles. So she's so sweet looking. She's so cuddly. I love puppies. I don't like it when they poop on my carpet. But she's just the sweetest thing ever. She's so cute. So anyways, I wanted to show you guys her. The first step is to load your sponge with three different colors that match whatever colors you decide to make your flowers. And I'm using the Paradise Brilliant line to do this, and they're all just really pretty jewel tone colors. The purple one actually has almost a blue duochrome to it, it's really cool. Make sure to load all three sides of your sponge. That way you can more easily blend by flipping your sponge around um, more quickly and it helps you to get your design done faster too. If you have a long line, go ahead and skip this part. It mostly gets covered up anyways, but it does add something a little extra if you do have some time to do it and make sure to make it a little smaller on the other side since this is an asymmetrical design and you can use your fingers to further blend it out. For the flowers, I'm using a 3 quarter inch flat brush and the Unicorn Tag Cake. And what you're gonna wanna do is put your brush on, on its edge and then press down, wiggle it, and pull back up. The key to making these flowers is to keep that corner with the purple in one spot while you wiggle and pivot the corner with the green around. So you want to keep that purple in the same spot while moving the green side. To finish it off, do three petals cascading down, two on the side and one in the middle, and that helps just to give it a more finished look. So continue with your flowers so you have a group of three flowers finished off with cascading petals on either side. For the other side, do the same thing but just with one flower in the center and then cascading petals coming out from it. This is actually a great design if you do just that for an eye design for teens or women. It's simple and fast and it's really pretty. Now load a number six with white. And if you're wondering why my white looks like that, it's because I scraped the white out of the, off the edges of my old container and pushed them into my new container. That way, no paint is wasted. Double load the tip of your brush into whatever color you want. I used the Brilliant color. And just press your brush down to make the perfect little and easy flowers. Place the flowers wherever there's extra room and make sure to overlap them on your design as well. It gives the design more interest and makes it look prettier. Add dot 
shades here and there. I wanted more pink in the background, so I just took my um, finger and smudged it in some of that pink brilliant color, and I'm placing it using my finger. Paradise is actually really good with giving you a good amount of time to blend with, and it's, it's really easy to work with, so it's nice for that, and your finger is actually a great tool when you're using Paradise paints. Now fill in your design with Starbursts. I'm using um, the Mark Reed number two for this, but don't be fooled, it's more like a number one. It's pretty skinny, but it has long bristles, which aren't the best for control, but they give really clean lines. So if you're doing things like starbursts or swirls where you don't need much control, it's a great brush. With Duo Lash Adhesive, you can stick on some rhinestones for a little extra sparkle. And finally, glitter. I added it only to the background. That way, my flowers stand out and it doesn't take away from the details. All right, you guys, so that is it. I really hope that you like it. Um, I think it is just so beautiful and you can switch up the colors however you want and make it look different on every single person which is great. I hope that you guys can use it at an event soon. I'll be wearing this to the event I do tonight so that'll be fun. Um, if you haven't done so already please rate, comment, and subscribe and check me out on Facebook. The link to that is below. Thanks again for watching everybody. It means so much to me. I hope that you guys are having a great week and have a wonderful weekend. Bye.